Hey folks, see you Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very very interesting video because here we are going to talk about a specific sector and which sector is that? It is infrastructure sector. If you have been tracking the markets as I shoot the video, this sector has been going up and it is up by almost 10% in the last week and a half. Now many people are like if we if we are bullish on this specific sector what could be the ways and means to invest in this sector? Possibility number one, you can invest in stocks which are related to infrastructure sector or possibility number two, you can invest in mutual funds which are infra funds. But before you take any decision, if you were to go ahead with funds, then you should know certain specific pointers for that. And what could be the pointers? We have to understand what is an infrastructure fund. We have to understand that if you were to compare the returns of infrastructure funds, how can we do that? We have to understand the advantages. We have to understand the disadvantages. And then we can understand as to how can we invest in infrastructure funds. So I hope you will find a lot of information in this video. So keep on watching the video till the end. So first of all, let's understand what is an infrastructure fund. And it's very simple, right? It's just a mutual fund that invests in infrastructure related companies. Now, when I use the word infrastructure, what can you visualize? Could it be companies which are into roadways, which are into railways, which are into air, airlines, which are into aerospace as well. It could be into power. It could be into oil and natural gas. It could be into construction and what not. I hope everyone understands and appreciates the fact that infrastructure is actually the backbone of any economy. And for that, India is also taking certain measures. I'm sure everyone has seen the budget of 23-24 where a budgetary allocation of 10 lakh crore rupees was made, which was almost equal to 3.3% of India's GDP. Now, has government also come up with certain schemes that that boost the overall infrastructure? Answer is obviously yes. The different schemes that India came up with was something like Make in India, NIP, Smart Cities Mission, Housing for All, Production Length Incentive and whatnot. So basically these are a lot of schemes that government has come up with but are there certain risks involved as well? And answer is yes. There could be certain project delays which can come up. It could be a political uncertainty which can also impact the infrastructure projects and if we as investors, if we are taking certain risks, question is are the returns justifying the risks that we are taking and to check the returns, how to check the returns is what we are going to check in the next section of the video. Now, if we were to gauge the returns of infra funds, what do you think? Can I compare the returns with Nifty 50? No. With Sensex? No, because these indices will have different sectors. Now, I would ideally compare the performance of infra funds with typically an index which tracks infra companies. And what could example? What could the examples be? It could be something like S and P BSE infrastructure, or it could be also Nifty infrastructure. Now, just to give you some stats on that, have a look at this. Since COVID lows to recent highs, S and P BSE infrastructure has generated 254 percent returns, whereas Sensex has generated 160 percent in the same period. Vis a vis Nifty has given a performance of 154%. You have to be very careful about two points here now. Number one, historical returns are no guarantee of future returns. And number two, before you take any decision and rush to buy these infrastructure funds, you have to know about what are the additional risks involved and also certain advantages. And that is exactly what we are going to cover in the next section of the video. Now let's check certain advantages and disadvantages if one decides to invest in infrastructure funds. The very first one is diversification. Now, like I mentioned in the initial part of the video, when you were, if you were to invest in infrastructure funds, where does that mutual fund invest its money? It could invest in companies which are related to railway or roadway or power or you know, construction, whatever. So here we automatically get a good diversification. Now, if I were to go with the disadvantages or risks, I can say the very first one is cyclical nature. Now, what do I mean by that? Typically, infrastructure sector and the economy go hand in hand. What do I mean by that? If economy is performing well, the infrastructure sector performs well and vice versa. But if the economy is not performing well, there are possibilities that infrastructure as a sector performs below average for a longer period of time. Okay, so typically we generally tell this that if investors have short term view, then infrastructure funds may not be the right, right choice. But if they have a long term view, infrastructure funds may be a right choice. The second one is varied fund performance. Now, what do I mean by that? See, these are not like index funds. So the fund manager has to decide as to which stocks is he or she going to invest into the infrastructure theme. So what could be possible? There are three or four different funds and their performance may vary quite a bit. You don't agree with me? Have a look at this. So if you see here, there are infrastructure funds and have a look at the returns, be it a shorter time frame comparatively or a comparatively longer time frame, 
in both cases the returns are pretty much varying in nature though i have covered it as a disadvantage another way to look at it as an advantage is that because it's an actively managed fund the skill of the fund manager is a driving factor for the fund's varied performance let's move on with the third risk the third risk is executional risk and this point i've already talked about it be it political uncertainties or technical uncertainties because of which the execution of projects may get delayed and this may in turn impact the returns of the infrastructure funds now what are the various steps if you were to invest in infrastructure funds step number 1 dior that is nothing but do your own research step number 2 open an account on some trusted mutual fund platform step number 3 start investing and step number 4 is keep on monitoring the fund performance but if in the first step if you are not able to do your own research then you should consult a financial advisor and then take a call accordingly i hope you understood a lot of points in today's video but the most important point is that if you were to invest in infrastructure funds please check that if if it matches with your financial goal or not if you did like the video if you found some value in it don't forget to smash the like button don't forget to share this video with your friends and if you want to know more about what is a mutual fund you can click here if you want to know more about how to track mutual funds performance you can click here till then take care shahin and bye bye